Welcome to the Castle Country Real Estate Podcast. This is episode number 14. I'm Josh Madsen from Real Estate Titans here in Price. And this is the podcast where I let you know what's going on in real estate and carbon in Emory County here in Utah and keep you up to date a little bit on what's going on in the general market nationally here in Utah and of course where we live. And then a little bit of a real estate hot tip and uh, then uh, some local news things to do around town. So wanted to kick things off. I hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving holiday and you're spending some time at home with the family and friends and hopefully enjoying a long weekend. So while you're at home, definitely want to kind of update you on what's going on in the real estate market. And the general overview of the market is that it's cooling off quite a bit. Uh, we've talked about this in past podcasts, kind of leaning uh, as we as I started the podcast and then kind of leaning into these more recent episodes. We've really gotten out of the post pan. I'd say we're more in a post pandemic marketplace now uh, than even when I started the podcast a few months ago. Things have cooled off so much that right now in Carbon and Emory County combined, we've got about 99 properties, just shy of 100 active single family homes available on the market right now. Now, the statistic that I, I always like to throw out is how many, how many properties have sold in the last seven days. And this is the most interesting to me. Only three properties have sold between Carbon and Emory County in the last seven days. That means things are sitting on the market much, much longer than we're used to the past two years and definitely something to keep in mind if you're a seller. Now, one of the things I wanted to bring up is it, people are always waiting around to get a good deal on anything, right? Uh, whether it's, it's shopping or, or real estate or whatever. And so I think people have been in this mode of waiting for the last couple of years for this, the, the market to crash. When is the market going to crash? so that we can go and make a purchase. So I think something that's interesting right now that, that I've been observing is we're seeing price reductions. I've talked about this a little bit in the past. Mostly I attribute that to a settling market. Things are cooling off and so you're starting to see sellers that may have wanted to try to price as if it were during the pandemic buying uh, spree that everybody had. And so they were able to price kind of anywhere in the, in the general vicinity of a good price. And then there oftentimes it was a bidding war or, or whatnot. I think a lot of the price reductions that people are seeing in the market right now are more based on sort of a, a, a reconciliation of sorts where things maybe got priced a little too high or the one observation I wanted to bring up that I think is interesting is statistically speaking, the value of properties is going up still. So the latest statistics that we did have from utahrealestate.com was an 8.6% increase in property values. So we need to separate that from the price because I think right now, because of the cooling in the market, many buyers are not willing to pay the value that uh, they're seeing and they're more willing to pay a little bit lower price. I'm not saying this is for everything, that's a broad brush stroke, but it brings to light some interesting things. It means that although there's still a demand for properties out there, there's not enough single family homes, the people that are out there willing to purchase those homes are willing to pay less. And with sellers wanting to maybe get out of their homes sooner, they may not wanna wait and they're willing to reduce the price a little bit. So what does that mean? It still means there's plenty of, uh, plenty of good statistics showing that the value of your home is good if you are looking to sell. But also I think it's great for the buyers because the buyers oftentimes are finding better deals where they might even be getting into the home uh, with some equity. So that's kind of a general market overview. Lots of interesting stuff going on. It changes day by day, week by week, and something that we definitely want to keep our finger on the pulse. Uh, whether you're looking to sell your home or as a buyer, it's very, very important to kind of keep track of what's going on so you make good decisions. So uh, with that said, I wanted to give you your real estate hot tip for the week. 
this is uh, one of my favorite parts of the podcast uh, in, in giving some tips about what you can do. So this one's particularly for sellers and it's a common question that comes up often is should I update my house before I sell? And asking a real estate professional like myself is always important. I can give you guidance about the things that you may or may not uh, wanna do to get your home ready to sell. But this is especially important now more than ever as a seller needs to be much more competitive than they did the last few years. So let's look at a couple things that we might wanna do to increase uh, the curb appeal of the home and also the value of the home. So uh, realtor.com says to stand out in the market, sellers should make their home attractive to buyers, which usually means some selective updates. So what are these selective updates? If you wanna weigh your option, here's the latest data on cost recovery for popular remodeling projects. So cost recovery meaning I'm gonna put X amount of dollars into my home to better it before I sell it in hopes that I recoup. It's uh, basically your return on investment, right? Like you're selling your home and you're recouping that value and you're probably increase, hopefully doing things that are gonna increase uh, the desire of the home to the buyers in the current market. So where you may recover the most on remodeling, I'm gonna give you the percent of cost recouped for common projects. So the first one we're gonna cover, vinyl siding, 82%. You're gonna recover 82% of that investment by doing vinyl siding. <laughs> Number two, garage doors, 100%. So that's even a better one. So replacing garage doors, very important, making sure they're, they're, they're functioning. If it's an automatic door, which most are these days in most cases, making sure they're working. Number three, roofing, 100% you're gonna recoup this uh, by doing it prior to selling your home. Next one, upgrading insulation. So oftentimes homes are older, the codes change, uh, things get worn down, updating the insulation is very important. 100%, again, you're gonna recoup the value of that improvement. Now we're gonna get into these last two, and these are two that actually are over 100%, things to keep track of and think of if you're looking to sell your home. New wood flooring comes in at 118% recoup. And then similar to it, refinishing hardwoods, 147%. So here's some ideas for sellers, or maybe you're not even looking at selling your home, but this is one thing I know I think of as a homeowner. What kind of updates am I doing consistently to keep the home in working condition? and updating it so that it's uh, it, it, down the road when I look to sell or when you look to sell, you're thinking about these updates in a way that's gonna be desirable. Uh, some of these are functional, some of them are functional and also visual uh, just to be updated with the times. So there's your real estate hot tip uh, for the day and I hope you enjoyed that. I always like to end off with uh, talking a little bit about something that you can do in the community and that's the craft fair that's coming up next uh next saturday so a week from tomorrow you'll be able to go to the craft fair i've got the details in the show notes uh, i gave them out last week as well it's a great place to buy local gifts uh, from vendors of people making stuff here locally in carbon and emory county so super excited uh, and i'm going to be there as well so i'll probably see you if you see me come say hello um, and uh, really excited to be here and give you guys all the updates for the market. Like I said, lots of interesting stuff going on. It's incredibly important to keep track of what's changing, whether it's with loans and interest rates, buying, selling homes, or whatnot. So again, I'm Josh Madsen. This is the Castle Country Real Estate Podcast. I'm with Real Estate Titans here in Price, Utah. You can reach me direct on my cell phone, 801-388-4047. Check me out on Instagram or Facebook at madsen.team, M-A-D-S-E-N.team. And uh, look forward to talking to you next time on the podcast. And uh, we'll see you later. Have a great weekend.